<laughs> in terms of goals, yeah, it goes from here. Reception, uh, replacing Lorne Michaels, starting my own network, uh, presidency of the United States, uh, leader yeah. of the uh, world, not free world underneath me because I, I, am, I am the authority now and everybody mm-hmm. has to be nice to each other. It's actually going to be a utopia. You guys are going to love it. This is, uh, this is mm-hmm. literally the plot to Scarface that you have yeah. just stolen. <laughs> That's the plot to Scarface. I, I thought Scarface was just like Tony Montana getting more cocaine and having a real downfall. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here for another episode today and we've got another super exciting guest. I'm actually really excited to talk to this guy. His name's Clay Davis. I don't know why he took out time to talk to us, but here he is. So that's pretty awesome. And on top of that, Clay, like writer, who we had on recently, is a huge fan of comedy. He does improv. He's just goddamn hilarious. And on top of that, he currently works with SNL, which I think is just amazing. I recently saw their episode with John Mulaney and uh, The Strokes, and that's my favorite comedian and my favorite band. So literally, that was perfect. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think we've got some pretty cool stories coming up today. Uh, Before we go any further, Saad, why don't you jump in? All right, you guys, before we progress even further, it's my 5 a.m., 5.23 to be exact. So please, for my brain cells and <laughs> me internally, like for me right now, guys, I beg of you to please hit that like and subscribe button because I have just woke up around 40 minutes ago to be here for you guys. So yeah, we're here. And yeah, Ryder, what? I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> what is up, Clay? Wow. Oh, uh, not much. I, I, that- uh, yeah, I just woke up too <laughs> from a... Five hour nap, so I'm feeling uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a real interesting one uh, because I, uh, yeah, I take, I, I sleep, uh, I sleep 14 hours a day. So, thanks for having me, and uh, <laughs> let's see what, uh, let's see what happens, huh? Yeah, yeah let's okay, do it. Okay, okay, so, so let us know uh, what's up. Uh, the, does sleeping 14 hours a day energize you more, or does it make you feel like you're dying on the inside? Like, which one is it? Oh, like, no. Realistically, I, I, I sleep, like, maybe on average, like, seven hours a night. Uh, and uh, and it, that makes me feel like I'm dying inside, because I kind of need, like, I need that nine and a quarter, uh, as the mm. uh, modern science suggests. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, you're that type. <laughs> I am that type, for sure. I'm type sleep. That's my blood type. Type <laughs> sleep. <laughs> So, Clay, I know you like comedy, I know you do improv, and I know you love impressions, and oh, you're yeah. just a funny guy, but how did you get from there to SNL, and what are just your, what's your, what's your career path going to look like, what are your goals, where do you see yourself, what, tell me a bit about yourself with respect to your passion for comedy. For sure, I mean, yeah, to clarify, uh, I do work at SNL, but I'm like, bottom rung little kitty cat over there i'm a, i work at as a receptionist so i like if you call the number online it'll be me picking up and uh, i'm down and to call you and i'll immediately call. hang up probably <laughs> immediately hang up why? <laughs> why would you hang up why would you hang up i'm curious to know i'm going to like weird ass calls hit me up hit me up well you gotta give me yeah you gotta you know you gotta woo me over the over the phone lines oh. uh mm-hmm. yeah okay. i gotta be i gotta be this guy, what, what's in it for me huh uh <laughs> in terms of goals yeah it goes from here reception uh replacing lorne michaels starting my own network uh presidency of the united states uh leader yeah. of the uh world not free world underneath me because i i am i am the authority now and everybody mm-hmm. has to be nice to each other it's actually going to be a utopia you guys are going to love it this is uh, this is literally the plot to scarface that you have yeah. just stolen <laughs> That's the plot of Scarface. I, I thought Scarface was just like Tony Montana getting more cocaine and having a real downfall, like that. Mm, that that's, was it, basically. That's, that, that's the journey, but I, that's think, the journey. I think he reached the same destination, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that is true. He yeah, starts you know. off in Miami, you know, and that was in those little uh, camps, and then he uh, and then he makes it out, and then he gets, uh, like, lieutenant, and then he becomes a boss, and then he... Uh... So, yeah, I guess there is... It goes crazy. I, uh, I think that um, going on that, uh, I'm certainly going to go crazy at some point in my life. And uh, and there's going to be a real big <laughs> downfall. So be sure to tune in and like and subscribe my downfall. Uh, it's oh going to be a fantastic God. downfall, guys. Oh, beautiful. Do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have a YouTube channel? Do I have a YouTube channel? No, but I have like 
weird videos of myself on YouTube from just start one and just upload all your weird videos because I'm because I'm sure I will, people I will. love I, to, I do I do have it yeah I do have some stuff up there uh, but you know I'm just trying to get that traction baby uh, <laughs> you know I'm trying to be a, a lot of friction I need traction I, it's just too uh, fluid right now in my life I don't really uh, yeah that's my biggest issue I I just like talk a lot of shit and and. Uh, and crack a lot of uh, jokes, uh, but I yeah. don't do yeah. anything that, substantial about it. <laughs> hey, that makes you sound you like mean, the man? perfect fit for us, you know? Right? Look at jokes. This. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just talk a lot of yeah. random shit. I mean, yeah, hey, is, no, this, is I, this a good time to ask you to just tell us a completely random miscellaneous story? Random miscellaneous? Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, give me, uh, give me like a... Give me some sort of a, a loose prompt, and that'll maybe get me on, on some sort of track. All right, uh, something stupid that you've done recently, because oh. there's usually no shortage of those. Something stupid. Um, I can think wow, of fifteen yeah, things at the top of, of my head right now. Oh, you've got myself, one. I've got a ton. I've got like fifteen stories, 15? but like this is your show. This is your show. The the the, the, the guys on, on on this podcast have heard all my stories. Okay, it's good. your show today. <laughs> your 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 time to shine. Um. Oh man, I'm trying to think of one that's like not too embarrassing. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Bro, 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 bro. If it's legal, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> if it's legal, <laughs> as long as it's legal, as long as it's. A, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm above not. the law, baby. Uh, as long as it doesn't involve legal. us doing something illegal, you should. Be yeah, fine. exactly. Yeah. All my all as my stupid stories are about legal. you guys doing uh, criminal things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Really? Maybe yeah, I did my it. research. I figured out Smart everything the, you guys were about to do. The one time I went to jail. Uh, Clay was with me. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Like, you know, he, 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 he saw me all, like, you know, go to jail. Man, I actually went to jail. Off. Just saying. Not too long ago? <laughs> me too. What did you go to jail for? I'll tell you if you tell uh, me. Dude we, went, dude, we went at the same time together. What are you on about? Yeah, How okay, yeah. <laughs> me and Saad were, we were in, uh, we were in College Station, Texas, and we got caught yeah. with a fake ID by a cop in a yeah. bar. Basically, because we were the only two dudes not wearing uh, blue jeans. Masks. Uh, oh. That was our. That was why. That is that's a dead time. giveaway. Dead giveaway. Yeah. And then the we spent turn twenty one. It's only blue jeans. That's <laughs> it's all. only blue jeans. Yeah. If you're in, if you're in Central Texas and you don't got blue jeans and you're dancing around, yeah. you're looking like uh, you're looking like jailbait <laughs> over there. You also got a really big pickup truck. Then you gotta be. Then you're fine. You know. Exactly. I. It's 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 amazing what you can get away with when you follow social norms. Everybody's like. Oh, don't worry about that. Exactly. That it's serial crazy, right? murderer. He he <laughs> drives a truck and he roots for the same football team I do. Oh my god, dude! But speaking of serial murderers, have you noticed how charming they are usually? Like I've, yeah. I've been watching all these Ted Bundy tapes and I mean, they're like the most charming and the most like you know nicest human beings on the surface, but I on know. the inside they're the most fucked up human beings on the planet. Every time somebody's sweet and nice to me, I'm like, "What's your motive, guy?" Like, <laughs> have you thought of that right now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've legit been like, "What's my motive and what's someone's motive right now?" Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you guys are both being very nice, and I'm like, "Okay, they're getting a feel for the my, the background of my room. They're like, uh, okay, yeah. uh, where he's sending us these videos. Uh, we've got his email address. We've also got his phone mm -hmm. number. We can uh, mm -hmm. triangulate those and but." <laughs> Bada boom, add one to our kill list, baby. <laughs> That's why I, uh, yeah, don't worry. Well, I got a pair of scissors, so come at me, all right? You know what yeah, time I, got, I actually got a lighter, so. Oh, yeah? Well, hey, I it got works. matches. I got it matches. It didn't work when there. I got it, so. It works? Oh, it works oh. all of a sudden. What'd you do with the lighter? I think I just showed it to you, and it was like, it, it suddenly found motive to. <laughs> it was uh, it spontaneously yeah. combusted as it was ow god I just burned my thumb <laughs> so, alright that's the latest stupid don't thing burn I, did. I, tried to, I tried to light a match and I almost burned down my uh, apartment yeah I'm uh, surrounded wait, for a little context I, I, I'm surrounded I, 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 by all these I wanna, like, I wanna notebooks go on this. I, I want to go on this tangent over here. So at oh, SNL, yeah. I'm sure you've seen... So you, so you work as a receptionist over there, but I'm sure you've seen a lot of crazy shit happen at, at the studio, at the set, or whatever. Uh -huh. Or maybe you've had a really crazy call come through because you're the one because you, you just told us you're the type of guy who just hangs up immediately. Mm -hmm. So tell, tell, either tell us about a really crazy story that happened on set or, or like a really, really stupid call that came through that literally caught you off guard. I can give you guys some calls. Those are... Because uh, like okay. when I say I hang up immediately, it's like for the people that are like the crazies or like uh somebody who's like the most common thing people will do is like is this saturday night live 
oh, okay, so I had this great idea for a skit, and then I have to be like, oh, I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> like, legally, we're not allowed to accept any uh, outside sketch <laughs> ideas. Uh, uh, it all must come from in a house, like our writing team. And the tells are really yeah. funny when you get these people. Uh, it's one, they call it a skit, not a sketch, for anybody out there. Sketch comedy. It's not skit comedy. So when you see okay. uh, a Saturday, if you go and if you're on like YouTube or whatever and you're watching one of their clips, that's a, a like a sketch. Um, it's just like a short uh, little little written out deal. Um, mm -hmm. It's filmed live, obviously, but it's like you know they've rehearsed it. It's been pre written and all that sort of deal. Uh, and the other tell that I get when it's somebody who's uh, like not uh, a legitimate sort of concern of mine <laughs> just putting it uh in a somewhat diplomatic way uh is they'll always tell you where they're from as if that gives them like any credibility like they'll be like hey i'm like uh i'm like how you doing i'm like i'm marty from duluth minnesota or whatever and, and then you're like like as if you're since you're from duluth you have any more credibility like and he's he's great. the only, the the only Marty in House, Minnesota. Unless you're from the White House, you have no credibility. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely no. negative credibility with me. Uh, oh. But I get a lot of those. And I've had... Uh, there's a few crazies. And uh, yeah, there's this one woman named uh, Gail Stairs. Who, like, Do you remember their names? Yeah, because she calls like at least a few times a year and uh what and she does this stuff she's like she like does enough like the the minimum amount of research where she'll uh she'll like watch the credits and just like know the names of like top producers and she'll just go hey it's gail i'm here for like i'm here for so and so <laughs> and you're like and like when i was first starting out there i was like almost <laughs> convinced and i was like yeah one second and i was like dialing you know that person's assistant and then like my yeah. co-worker was like no 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 is that gail no 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 hang up on her immediately because she calls <laughs> oh and like God. really wants to be a cast member really? and like is really? like really really trying to do this uh i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest if i was her i'd, I'd change my name every time why the fuck is she sticking to the she's well, really because every time. she goes gail it's, stairs it's, like the steps or <laughs> something like that it's like i don't know what <laughs> she's going up there it's, well it's hey deal. when gail makes it big You'll be your first hater. I know. When she makes it big, I will never work in this damn industry a day in my life. <laughs> I will be unable to get work as the lowliest uh, oh. PA anywhere. I mean, I'm, yeah. And I deserve it, too, because I snubbed her. I snubbed her, and she's a great talent, and I'm also yeah. in love with her. <laughs> she should have uh, been on set right now. She's she, kind of be, yeah. She's recording with, like, the biggest people. She's going to be one of the people that I'm going to uh, recommend next for this podcast. Uh, that would be actually <laughs> absolutely <laughs> mad. Mad. And, 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 and the title of that video and the, and the title of that video would be the woman who wants to get on SNL never will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I, I'm definitely going to regret bringing her up because she will find me and she will actually be uh, very nice to me. I believe in, that. In here. And it's, you know, I that's believe just that. the way it is. That's just how this business is run, baby. It's Tinseltown. Yeah. What do you expect? Have you it's ever, all, had, like, a, have you ever had like a crazy show up in person to, you, to, to the studio and like just like straight up ask for soup, random shit? Um, well, there's a lot of security in the building, so they usually handle that. I, uh, I used to, uh, before, uh, in the before four times when... Uh, they had after parties i would i was the guy who like had the list at the door and sort of just like would check off names and also uh, uh yeah no but uh, i used to i used to work the door with like the list and i'd let people in like people i know who work at the deal and just a bunch of random people uh but i got to know the the usuals uh who were the paparazzi uh, who like stood by and those people are like absolute crazy a folks pain the, like, like, i mean they're like, like, like urchins they're they, the I, I, yeah, yeah i mean like obviously paparazzi don't have the best reputation they don't uh, they don't do do they're like they're like that i hey. i've heard a lot of crazy stories about them and they just don't leave your ass alone dude they are crazy all. and and like honestly abusive in a way that's like not cool at all and uh yeah and we'll like and we'll like to anybody out there who's like super rich and famous and gets handed by these fools uh they'll always do stuff like like oh uh like, uh, Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd, like, oh, great job on your, like, movie, like, oh, oh, like, oh, I hope you're doing well, like, all this type of, like, weird, uh, kind of, like, unctuous little oily stuff mm -hmm. where they come up yeah. to you and are like, mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm such a big fan, like, oh, can you, like, here's my son right here, it's like, and it's all of it's false, it's, uh, 
I'm sorry, I'm getting another the, FaceTime. The child is someone else's uh, child? Uh, yeah, it's not even their child. It's just this, like, kid who also likes to really do the deal and just sit out in the cold at 2 in the morning and, like, wait for somebody to sign their deal. And, like, they're also, like, they'll run up to you and they'll be, like, and if you say, oh, no, thanks, like, no thanks, guys, I'm not going to sign anything, mm -hmm. then they'll, as soon as you go inside, they're all, like, they're all, like, God, like, he's such an asshole. Like, yeah, I can't even believe that guy. He didn't even stop and oh. take a picture with me. Like, they're, oh. it's, it's insane. The, uh, so they feel the, like they're like, entitled to your attention, basically. Exactly. They feel, they like, feel entitled they feel like you for, them. like, you, like you owe them to give them, uh, give you their time. Or give them I mean, their time. Sounds pretty sleazy. I, I like the imagery we've got going here. Dude, and honestly, at the start, Dude. I couldn't tell if you were being sarcastic when you said, like, oh, they're the best type of people, but I'm glad we got that cleared up. <laughs> oh, Dude, do, do, I'm not even joking. If, 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 if possible, I would love to have, like, a real paparazzi, like, guy on our show. Like, I want to hear what I want to hear what goes through their fucking head. Yeah. Like, I want to hear their side of the story. Like, I want to hear how they process issues, how they, how they, what they see a person who's famous walking down the street. You know what? The, what they look him, look at him at like? Like I really want us to get into their head, man. And yeah, here's what we got to do. Hard questions. We got to have a paparazzi on. Next episode's gonna be his fake son, and the episode <laughs> after that, Paul Rudd. Tie it all together. <laughs> Tie it all together. <laughs> Make it a Netflix yeah. miniseries. There you go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. The, the other like added weird thing is like the environment. It's like three in the morning, and it's like twenty degrees. Fahrenheit outside and what is that uh, in Celsius bro quick quick conversion quick conversion Come on, yeah quick conversion quick, quick conversion. conversion oh Celsius uh, uh five I can hive on, uh, t wait 20 maybe it's like uh uh yeah yeah I'll, I'll go four four or five okay negative five two Celsius. no ne oh it's negative yeah because 32 oh, yeah it's like... definitely negative god okay. man I wish I I wish I just ignored all of the American uh like you know, I wish I just did metric Dude, system with, and wait, Celsius can, from can, day one. Can we talk about this? Can we talk about what, what the fuck is wrong with America? You guys drive on the fucking wrong side of the road. You guys have weird, weird Okay, the units. side of the road is, doesn't matter, but the but metric system matters. It matters to me. It matters <laughs> yeah, to me. The side of the road matters to me, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm going to be honest. I just don't pay attention to numbers anymore. It's like, it's yeah. hot. It's cold. It's and this guy's warm. an engineer. And this it's guy's colder an engineer. than it was yesterday. To think I, that he, yeah. to think wow, that that's famous that last words be... from your engineer. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't like, the numbers I, don't anymore. Care, I don't care about numbers yeah, anymore. Or like any math at all. Uh, <laughs> any of the like... sciences. I just go with my gut when I'm trying to uh, design a bridge. <laughs> listen, listen. This <laughs> engine, it could be colder, but who cares, right? The fire should probably be a bit warmer, but like that's okay. Coming from the guy yeah. who lives in Illinois, you're just so dead into all sorts of extremes. You're like, uh. right? It's it gets it gets hot and humid. It gets like freezing cold. I'm uh, probably yeah. gonna freeze this winter. Just Man, I don't even know. Just... I don't even know. I don't have the power, the physical strength to turn my heater on without spending 15 minutes trying to spin this stubborn little knob. So I'll probably literally <laughs> freeze to death, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Death by the, knob. The That's a bad way to go. Here. The weather is perfect here. <laughs> It's like what eight nine degrees at night. Oh, fantastic! That's that's Celsius. like forty five guys. If I convert it to uh, centimeters, yeah. yeah, and like yeah. convert and, like and then convert it back to, to Kelvin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the day, man. That sounds I'm, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm just that does I'm sound so very happy. nice. And look at you! It's Which, uh, you the, you have a full day ahead of you. It's only five thirty in the morning, so. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I, but... I got I'm <laughs> out after this. I, I know that for a fact. I'm definitely bad. And then we'll think about the day ahead. There you go. Yeah, I was going to suggest I'm you like, drink some coffee. But that might screw you over. I don't drink coffee. I've had these weird... Coffee? Oh, what? Really? What's up with that? Mm. You a tea uh, guy? No, I don't drink any sorts of form of caffeine except for... He, he, doesn't, he doesn't drink water, dude. Yeah. Like, He's anti, anti liquids. I get it. I get it. I'm anti-caffeine. <laughs> Ish. I feel that. That's I, 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 I used to be that way, and then I capitulated in the smallest sense, uh, and had those, oh, I have a little iced coffee only, and now I'm like, yeah. I dr I'm like, it's like a, it's a, I'm like, <laughs> once the cup's done, I'm like, let's get another one of these little babies. Oh right my here. god. Dude, no, 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 I do, I do, I do have the occasional coffee when I go out with friends and everything, that, that it's all, that, that's all, fun. that's all good for me, but however, I do not want to rely on the substance every single morning to function. Yeah. Like, dude, that's fucking stupid to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, I agree with that entirely. As a as a reliant uh, little guy, I definitely uh, <laughs> agree with that. 
sentiment. Yeah. But uh, t- to me, I'm just like I. There's there's certain circumstances where I'm like, if I don't do this, I will not be able to perform as a little uh, receptionist <laughs> or like of or course. like other. I, I also, I, I get a lot crazy. of pleasure out of it too. I'm not I'm not just uh, like if you enjoy it, then it's it's fine. You know? Yeah. There's a, there's a lot about that first cup of coffee in the day that's like I, I'm not a I'm not a cigarette smoker or anything like that and I don't intend on doing that but uh, it's I would relate it to that for yeah this, this guy smokers cocaine, out there guys coffee I, mean, I think our cocaine. analogy yeah. can apply to yeah. pretty much any yeah, any coffee, drug, yeah exactly like, let's keep it I'm not a big meth guy but I could I could relate it to the meth guys out there you know just like <laughs> yeah, that first hit cook. at three in the morning when mm-hmm. you wake up yep yeah 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 definitely oh nothing's as good as that first one baby. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a little dark. But and okay. on that note, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Dude, we're done. We hit the time. Oh stamp. my god, oh, dude. The time yeah, stamp. We're done. Didn't even realize. Yep, yep, yep. We we're just done. we got okay. to meth and we didn't even get to psychedelics. I could have told you about all my <laughs> yep. psychedelic experiences. I saw God and she's a, a wrench. So that <laughs> Nope. Crazy man, crazy. Right, I'll guys, wait for I'll wait for the novel and then the Netflix adaptation before I believe any of that. You will. Well, you know, yeah. you'll see me. You'll see my name out there. Produced I love by Gail Stairs. Like the longest outro ever. This is the <laughs> longest outro ever. We're done. Peace. Adios. Right. Goodbye. Peace, guys. All right. Get some rest and thank you for having me. La di da. <laughs> <laughs>